Hey guys, this video is a continuation from the previous video where I showed you how to set up and add your query to a connection. And we queried the database um, that had actor uh, information and we were able to display that information in a grid. In this video, I will demonstrate how you can set up a filter as you type into the edit box for the same database using the same table. So if you, have, if, you, if you are not sure how to set up the connection, I suggest you watch the previous video where all of these were explained. The connections are all set up. I move on to the form side. And on the form, we had a grid. And if you'll recall, when I run the program and click the display button, the table, the contents of TBL actors is displayed on the grid. Uh, I will quickly show you how that happens. Here it is, I click on that and here it is, I've got all my information in from my TBL actors. For this video, I've added a label that says enter the actor name and I've added an edit box and I've labeled it EDT, EDT search. And the objective is as I type an actor name in the edit box, I would like that to filter in the list box that is provided. So in order to do that, we are going to use an on change event. If I double click on the edit box, it takes me to the edit box change. This means that every time, every time I type a letter into this edit box, this code is now going to execute. The code on the on change, the code we type here is now going to execute. So if I type a letter T, for example, the code will execute where it's going to look for actor names starting with T. If I type the letter P, it's then going to look for actor names starting with P. So let's set up the code to do this. As we did in the previous video, I need a with statement. So with my daughter module one, do begin. If you will recall, we had three statements. We have the adio query one dot sql dot clear. That's the first statement. The second statement is adio query dot sql dot add. And in the add, I set up my sql statement. I'm going to complete that in a moment. Let me finish the third statement. Um, so it's going to be edio query one dot and we want to execute the SQL and we say open. Let's now focus on writing the SQL that's going to help me to filter based on what is typed in the edit box. So we're going to say select star from TBL actors. At this stage, it's just going to display everything in the actor table. I need to bring in a where, and I'm gonna say where. It's based on the actor name, that's the field. So it's where actor name. If I type equal to, it means I'm looking for a specific value. However, I'm looking for a pattern. And when we look for patterns, we make use of the like operator. So I'm going to say where actor name like and the value I'm going to get is obtained from the edit box. So I'm going to use my quoted string and get the value from edt search that was the name dot text that's the property. So whatever is typed in this edit box, we are then going to attempt to select and find the actor name 
based on the letters that are typed. However, we're not going to find an exact match. We want any other character to follow. So we then need to add to this something called a wildcard character. And the wildcard character that we use in Delphi is the percentage. I'm taking the value that is typed in the edit box and I'm adding a percentage sign to that, meaning that any other character could follow in the actor name, which is the field we are looking for. So that pretty much is what we need when we are typing our SQL statement. Let's give this a try. Whilst it's running, we will then see our form appear. And let's click on display, which displays all our information. So this is where I want to type. And as I type, it will then filter automatically based on the letter that I type. So by typing W, it then finds immediately, there's only one W, it finds the actor name starting with the W. Let's try a T. As I type the T, it found three particular actor names. And I'm going to type more and type H. And in that case, it's now filtered it to just one, which is Thomas. Uh, if I remove the H and then go I, it then filtered it again to find Tigger. And if we had similar patterns of names as we typed in this edit box, it would automatically filter in the grid. This could be a nice feature that you could use in your programming. I hope this helps. Thank you.